Today we're going to take a look at LaunchBox for Android and I'm going to do this on my Odin handheld. LaunchBox is an emulation front end, meaning that this is an app where you can have all of your game libraries and access all your emulators in the one place. So this is convenient if you have a lot of emulators everywhere and you just want to open the one app to access all of it. So the first thing we're going to do is download LaunchBox and you can do this directly on your device. It doesn't have to be an Odin, it can be any Android handheld or even just an Android mobile. So just do a quick search for it in Google and you should find the LaunchBox app. Now just scroll down a little bit and you should find the download now button and you want to click the green button for Android. It's going to ask you to enter your email so go ahead and do that. It's going to send you a link to download the file. Then you want to go and click that link in your email and then it's going to download onto your device. So go ahead and open and install that file and it should install onto your device. So when you first start it up, it's not going to have anything set up. So we'll go through the process to set up one system here and we're going to set up the PS2 system. In the main menu, you've got a number of options here, import games, options and a few other things here and there. You can check that out for yourself. I'll just go ahead and show you the options available for those that are curious about it. Okay, let's go ahead and set up one of the systems and we're going to set up PS2 to begin with. So you're going to select the folder of games to import. And I do apologize for it going in and out of focus. There's not much I can do when the text is so small. So it's going to ask you where your games are. So go ahead and find them. I had them on my SD card. You might have them somewhere else. Now the next thing is to select your platform, so that's going to give it a image and title. So I've gone ahead and selected Sony PlayStation 2 and then I didn't do anything else with the options here and I just proceeded with the import. So as you can see, the process is pretty smooth and it found all of my PS2 games, no problems at all. Okay, let's take a look at what the game library looks like and when you first get into it, uh, it's still loading up all of the game title library. So I've just gone ahead and skipped that and uh, you do need to wait like maybe 5-10 minutes for it all to load up depending on your internet connection. But that is the nice thing about LaunchBox is that it's going to download all of the box arts and all of the game information for you, you don't have to do anything. So effectively that's kind of really what you're paying for, that luxury of not having to find anything and it's just going to do it all for you. So I'm just going to go through some of the various view options that you get pre-installed with LaunchBox. Now I'm not sure that you're going to get other types of view options but uh, you may be able to customize it yourself, I don't know. Uh, but take a look at the LaunchBox forum, it's on their website and perhaps uh, there are other ways for you to customize the view inside LaunchBox. So as you can see, there's a fair few view options here. There's the traditional box art view, there's also that banner view that you saw before, there's this text list view with details. There's also a wheel with details which has the logo of the game on the left hand side and then the box art on the right hand side. So I'll just show you what it looks like when you start up a game. So let's start up Dynasty Warriors 4. Now if you press the A button you get a menu where you can edit a few things here. But you can also just press the start button and it will get straight into your game. So I recommend doing that. Now one thing you do have to do is link your emulator. So I've linked that PS2 folder with EtherSX2. So I'm going to just play all of my PS2 games with EtherSX2. If you have something like Dreamcast, you might want to choose that specific emulator for that game and you can do that as well. As I showed you, you press the A button and then you can select the emulator there so you could use Flycast or Redream. So what you've seen here is just the demo version which allows you to try out the app and it has a 100 game limit and I'm sure a lot of people who are into the emulation scene have libraries that are a lot bigger than that so what you want to do is purchase a license and that license is going to remove that game limit. So if you go to the main menu you'll see an option for licenses and you can just go straight into purchasing a license there 
and that will take you to the website where you can just go ahead and pay for your license. Now there's three options here. The first option is a regular license, which is gonna remove that game limit forever. And if you want to get new versions and new features after one year, you do need to pay $5 per year. So that's the option I took because I just wanted to play around with LaunchBox first before upgrading to the Forever Updates license. Now this is $25 and if you just pay for that, you'll never have to pay again and you get all of the updates and features forever. And you also have the Renew Upgrade option where you can upgrade your license for $5 or you can just pay the $15 to fully upgrade to the Forever Updates license. Once you've paid for the license, they'll email that license file to you and then you go ahead and apply new license and browse for that license. And then you just gotta go and find wherever you've downloaded it to and then it will apply that for you. Now once you've done that, the game limit is removed and now you can add all of the game systems from your game library. So in terms of features, there aren't any new features over and above the demo version. So everything that you've seen already in this video apply for the full version. It's just that the game limit has been removed. So there really isn't anything that I can show you except, hey, look at all of my games and my game library here. I do think some of these game library view lists are a definite improvement on something like PPSSPP or Redream. So if you're after an app where you can keep all of your games in one place, well, check out LaunchBox for Android. Okay, that's it for this one. If you like this video, make sure to hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. And I'll see you in the next one.